Hi guys. Um, I'm going to do a review today on this. As you can see, I have already opened it. Um, I don't, can't remember why I opened it now. I've had this for a little while now. Um, can't remember if I used it. I'm not sure. But it's an inverter. There's the uh, make. There's the details up there. So it's a thousand watt. Okay, and it's a pure sine wave inverter. So it's not modified. So pure sine wave uh, is what you get with your house mains. Um, uh, appliances work and probably something other. The modified is where you get lights flickering um, and you hear like charges stuff like that, buzzing and whatnot. There's the user manual. I don't know which one this one is to be honest. It's just basically telling me how to set everything up, but I kind of already know how to do that. So. Um, this is quite a good diagram actually. So here's max watts of, of devices, okay? Uh, volts, what battery they recommend, and runtime. So even though it only goes to 1200 watts, either 850 or 1200 watts. Sorry, guys, I'm feeling a bit ill today. <laughs> so I'm struggling to talk. So say you have got. Um, 1200 watts of power being used on 12 volt with a 120 amp hour battery it will last 53 minutes if you have 1500 watts of power being used on 12 volt uh, with 120 watts um, sorry 200 amp hour that will last 1 hour 10 minutes so it kind of gives you a good idea of how long things last for that's quite good that actually to be honest. Not uh yeah this one here also comes with a controller which is nice because it runs off Ethernet cable so the Ethernet cable plugs into it. Can't... Yeah Ethernet cable plugs into it the controller and so you basically don't actually have to have the power inverter on. So okay got that. Okay, apparently some more stuff in here as well. Some fuses. Some fuses in there. There's the actual switch. Turn it on and off. There's the uh, Ethernet connection. Ethernet cable. And here I'm guessing this is where the power leads are on this one. Yeah, there we go. And let's take the other back ourselves. So there's the front. So USB, which is always nice to have. It's lights looking a bit weird here. What's going on? Oh, I think I've steamed up a little bit. <laughs> Let me clean you off, guys. I'm back in a sec. Sorry about that guys, it turned out the steam up was actually on the inside of the camera, so I had to leave it for a little while. Um, uh, uh, focus, there we go. Right, so yeah, you've got the bit that goes up to the control panel. Uh, you've got the on-off switch here anyway. When you plug this into the control panel, you don't actually have to switch this on. Uh, you can leave it switched off and it does it automatically for you. You have two 5 volt 2.1 amp uh, USB charging ports. On this side you have the earth or ground. Um, generally it's quite a small unit. It's not bad at all. Yeah. Let me start here. It's a, a small unit. It's that's my hand, as you can see. And yeah. Not much that side, really. So I don't know if you want to pause it and then see it that way. But this here is rated 1,000 watts. 
continuous, continuous, continuous output, and a surge of 2,000. As you can see, pure sound wave. There we go. Um, so we'll look at the back here. So obviously you've got your positive and negative. Warning: Do not reverse inputs. DC 12 volts. You can see here you've got two fans. You've got two fans here, and one fan on the front here. I believe um, that the fans don't kick in until it's needed. If that makes sense. Um, I've brought. I've got my battery. Well, um, pack here should be fully charged here yeah, to try this out. Um, I packed this all the way because it's been this is like a few hours down the line now. I'm finishing this off because I had to go out actually. Let's do this. <clears throat> we'll have a look at the uh. Have a look at the actual control unit. Oh, it's hard one hand. Let's set this. There's by the looks of it the air or the ground. So there's the back of it. And there's the front. So it's nice because you've got a battery meter of how full the battery is. Low input voltage and on and off. I believe on this one here as well, you have uh, like a backlight here that stays permanently on so you know where the on and off switch is, which is nice. <coughs> um, right, I'll get this all plugged in and set up, guys, and I'll be back in a sec. Right, all connected up. Yeah, okay. We've all got power going into it. So if we click here, if we click, let me take this out a minute. If I click this one here, you can see we actually have power. And there's no fans, it's all silent. Turn on off. <coughs> Jesus, sorry guys. Plug that one in. And yeah, as you can see, we've got a backlight there. Which is nice because apparently you, it doesn't matter what length Ethernet cable you have for this. You can have this anywhere. So say you had a double decker bus and you're converting that into like a home. You could potentially have 20 meters of this, 30 meters of this and run it anywhere you wanted to. Uh, switch on. don't know if you can hear that. I'm going to switch it on. You can see it says on, on, off, indicate like that. The battery's full. Which it is. Um, so yeah, that's nice. What I want to try to do next is I want to see if this charges without having this on to save on battery life, obviously. So let me go grab something that would. No, uh, let me grab a phone and a charger, guys, and uh, we'll go from there and see. Right, we're all plugged in there, guys. Um, yeah, we're all plugged in there. Let me. Try and get behind the back like this, so you can see it better. Um, this charge is a bit dodgy, so I'm just going to hold it. You can see it's switched off, it's not on. That was on, off. And we're plugged into the first one. And let's plug it in and uh, see if we've got power without actually having it switched on. We do. So let's see if the next one does that. Was on the top one or bottom one then? Don't know. We do. So that's that's brilliant. That's good that that works without that to be honest. Um I'm trying to think what I can use now to see if that works. Oh no, I've got that will try. Right, so I've had this now for ages. Um I recognise it from some other videos. It's for USB charging, uh, you can charge up to 8 basically. Uh, there's nothing on at the moment. So let's switch on from here first and see what happens. Got power there, which is 
it's nice. And I don't know if you can read what that says on there. Or if the reflection is going to be a pain. So switch back off and we will now switch on from here. And as you can see, it probably didn't light up because it probably didn't lose actual current, but you can see it's it is charging. So let's plug this in here. Plug a phone in. I don't think I'm going to have anything that will properly charge up. Um, test this yet because I can't run off this booster pack because it's not meant for that sort of thing. Let's see if it works. Um, it does. Nice. So, yeah. Um, it's good to have it as a backup, guys. Um, because you never know when you're going to need it in the case of a power cut or or anything like that. Um, I, it's it's going to be a quick review for that from that because I'm going to get a, a battery charged up and come back to it to see what sort of power it does and wait to see if we can hear fans kick in and stuff like that. But it's nice because it's working well and well, working as well as I know so far. But like I said, um, we'll come back to it. We'll do like a, a thing where we come back to it to see how it's doing, this, that and the other. Um, to be honest, I didn't pay a lot for this. I think, I think I only paid £100 for it. For a pure sine wave, it's insanely cheap for a thousand watt one as well. I mean, oh, I can't, hold on a sec, guys. I mean, let's get this lead off. Yeah, generally all in, guys. It's it's cheap and it's compact. Okay, so you can just put it anywhere. You can mount it to the wall anywhere in any angle. There should be no reason why you can't mount it in any angle, whether it's this way sort of thing, or this way, or this way, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. Um, like I said, we'll do a comeback to this, where we will see what it's truly got. Um, it says a thousand watt, and a, a surge of two thousand watt, I mean that's another one of these that you can give out, so it's, it's kind of, is that right, but, I don't know, we'll have to do different tests and see what happens. Okay, uh, that's all we can do. Um, but it's kind of a review at the moment. I've come out with it, showing what it's like. We've powered it up. It works. Um, I do like this touch. Though. Yeah, it's such a simple little thing. I like the fact you can have that anywhere. And all it is is cheap Ethernet cable. That's what it is. What I haven't quite figured out though is fuses. It's got it's come with fuses, right? So does that mean you have to open the thing up to replace the fuses? Or is that for what what size is that? That's a A 35. So that's a 35 amp fuse. So is that for when you've got it installed in the car or something? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad looking thing to be honest. It's alright, it's not bad at all. But yeah, that's it guys. Like I said, we'll do a thing where we come back to it and see what it can actually do and handle and stuff like that. And we'll go from there. It might be a case it might be able to handle 1500 watts or 1200 watts continuous power. Uh, we don't know. We'll have to try it and find out. It's got all the uh, all the protection surges original with it and overload surges and low battery where it cuts off this and the other, which every inverter should have. Um, it's a nice little touch and it saves your battery at the end of the day. So. 
but yeah anyway guys thanks for watching I uh, hope it's helpful for the minute I doubt it is until you really see what it does but I've shown you that it works and stuff and that I like that little touches like this oh you can't even see like this with the USBs and stuff like that because it saves having to have the whole thing switched on um, so yeah anyway guys thanks ever so much for watching hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one